Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. That's Chris. I'm Mike. How are you? Yeah, people figured out. We got names on there. That's what the names are for, buddy. What's up, man? Walking Dead, episode 14. Still gotta mean something. These names are dumb. Look, Mike, all right, here's the deal. We're 14 episodes in. We have two more to go. I don't want this to be another bitch fest. It's gonna be another bitch fest, but at least hopefully we'll make it a short bitch fest. Um, I, I'm just going to jump right in here because there are some good things to talk about, but yes, there's just, I, I, I said to myself, I don't want to, I don't want to record tonight and be like, I'm going to, I'm, I just want to rag. I'm going to have to rag. On. I don't want to do it, but they just keep doing dumb things. And it's been, it's been very consistent. This whole, even though I like this second half so far and I like this, ep- this season eight better than season seven. It's it's very we're very consistent in our reviews of the episodes. It's always like yeah. oh, some great stuff, but eh. this part and then we, sucks. And then we it's, go out it, on but a it's blatant about it's, how shitty things are, and it's are. blatant. So let's talk real quick. Negan and yeah. Jadis, that whole damn thing. Cool, cool stuff, bad stuff. Yeah, well, let's talk about Weird the bad stuff. It, the, the whole thing was stupid. It was literally. No, you had some bullets, right? You had some bullet points. How did yes. Negan? You wanted to know how Negan got out. How did he? How did he get his hands free? How did he get the gun? How did he get the picture? How did he get the flare? Like, how does he keep weird. getting it's, out of these yeah, things? Just all of a sudden, it was he was all of a sudden just had these things, and it was just. I said to you, it must have been. They all shot right, all this stuff. They shot exactly. They shot all these scenes, and whomever edited it did a poor job. It's a poor for, it, just for me. A poor job. I don't, you left was, me with the guns. Uh, he she, and what? What was she? What the hell was that? Wheeling the cart with the, I mean the zomp. Like, what were you doing? What you was know the point? You know of doing what's funny, that? dude? Because I forgot where I heard it. It might have been Talking Dead. <sighs> Some kind of site afterwards. People was were like, "What the?" Like that's what I wrote. I wrote super fucking confusing. Yeah, because what the know. hell was she, it? She pushed the cart and then like ran behind the because he shot the, at it. Well, no, he, he just she just pushed. No, no, it and then hid. No, no, because she shot. No, he shot. That's what happened. After, after no, it. no, no. Yes. As she's yes. pull. Trust me. As he's pushing it, he it, it was a ping. There was a ping, and then she ran behind the thing. Well, regardless, it was stupid. <laughs> so many people were confused about what the, what kind of, you know, because they had the Winslow thing. Remember the Winslow thing with Rick? Yep. Um, that was cool. So they, tried, they tried, yes, they tried getting creative. So anyway, there was a million people that were like, "What the fuck is that thing? What was the plan?" Know. She li- supposedly there was, um, and like I said, I don't remember where I heard this, um, but there was latches because the thing was kind of like this, right? Yeah. So there were latches because it was connected to like some rebar that the whole mouth and the whole upper torso would go down like and chomp down. Uh, on okay. It. To to how how that would happen, I don't know if she had a release or something like that. They made no I, use of that or anything. It, it was just it was stupid. And he gets at like I can't. And then she lives in this pristine thing. I like I I like the dichotomy of that mm-hmm. living in the heap, but also has this like like how that all happened. But still, what are you doing? Like what? Yeah. And, and then she. So what was your plan? Kill well, him and then. She have was the, gonna leave. Have the, no, yeah, but what was the point of taking him then? She wanted him to to die, and then being the correct, like charismatic guy that he is. That didn't. I mean, uh, yes, we're not work. dumb. We're not dumb. We get that. But mm-hmm. her her plan that we yeah. can put together was r- the stupidest thing. One was, of the was, dumbest was, things of this season. Like, what are you doing anyway? It was super odd. I, the only thing uh, we can we can skip, you know, we can get out of this this uh, Jadis Negan stuff in a second. But um, helicopter, it's well the helicopter, yes. Um, but it's just it's intriguing because there's so many this it's it's secretive. It's very, there's so many secrets that I think we'll kind of get into about the junkyard, which seems very interesting. Really, are you interested? Because I'm not. I am a little bit. I'm yeah, actually because, not. I don't. I kind of don't give a crap. Well, to be honest, after seeing her clean room. 
and being that they're in a junkyard, it's very there's a facade. There's a it's a camouflage for something. So I'd like right. to see that whole thing. Inner, maybe, but yeah, but like you know the inner the, workings on the layout of this place. But and, is she that? Uh, but is she that interesting of a character to you? She's not to me. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not interested per se in Jadis. I'm interested in the junkyard itself. But, but to get into but to get into cold. those, you have to go through Jadis. And to me, Jadis is not well. Is not a good listen, liaison for that information because I don't care. I agree. I anyway, agree. I don't know. That was the that was the dumb part. Yeah. That was dumb. The helicopter I, stuff is interesting because she was obviously packed the bag and she initially was going to leave Negan to the I, trap. <laughs> yeah, but I love how she drop. He takes her flare, so she runs behind and gets another flare. Like, wh yeah. what are you just pulling stuff out of? Like, oh my god. Anyway, whatever. I don't know. Let's let, let's. Uh, I, I want to talk about real quick. I thought it was pretty funny how Ezekiel wants Carol to go with him to find Henry, and she's like, nope. And then Morgan's like, I'm going to go find Henry. She's like, oh, wait up. Wait up, yo. <laughs> now, I know she wow. was going. I know she, she was, was going, going to, kill. to to follow, you know, Morgan. But and then what I thought was the whole seeing ghost thing is at first I'm like, that's kind of cool. I'm like, oh, Henry's dead. He's seen the ghost. He's dead. But then, no, it's not. He's just hallucinating. He's going through yeah. his little things. Here's my problem with that. Morgan, you're, you're OK, everybody. We get it. You're obviously setting Morgan up to flee alexandria or yeah. King, whatever the hell top whatever you're getting him to leave so he can go to texas we get it we get it uh, it's it's so obvious that's what they're doing you know what i mean and yeah. it's like i don't know man it's so it's so they're just like hand fisting it it's just like tear have it all here oh but wait who's in the car with negan like i'm no <laughs> no I mean, listen, I Morgan, which was one of my favorites. I mean, everybody that watches the channel knows that I was so excited when we saw him back on the show. But Morgan's been pretty much the same it's fucking character for like a season, like two his two seasons. For, yeah, it's, it's just enough. You know, it started and Carol off, too. Carol too. Yeah, Carol she, too. When they come back, she's like, "Yeah, I think I'm ready." Yeah, it's like, oh my god, we're done with you. We're done with your. You're it not. Is. You're not important enough anymore. Neither of you are important enough anymore. Yes, you're good fighters, and yes, you're you were really, uh, you know, um, uh, they're you, pivotal. They're pivotal. pivotal. Thank you. You, you. you know, you played these pivotal roles, but nobody. But now you're not. Like you are. You're just boring and and annoying. And I'm tired of your story. I want to see more of Maggie's story. We've we've seen nothing, yeah. nothing of Maggie except one episode, and a little bit in a couple of other episodes where we see her. Um, you're having some poltergeist problems there, huh? I know, right? It's like, <laughs> um, I'm just noticing it. I'm like, it, yeah, sorry about the little flicker. I don't know what's, his, I think his, I have, uh, I have to call. lights to go crazy. Yeah. Who you get a call? Who you get a call? Uh, Road Rooter. So they, you know what I mean? Like, give me Maggie now. Give me somebody that means something that's, that actually has a stake in something. I'm done. I'm done with these two characters. Like, I'm tired of your, your dumb crap. I'm tired of hearing the same stuff. Not Henry, agree. goodbye, Henry. <laughs> See you, idiot. You're a kid. You thought you were not, but you are, yeah. and you almost got killed. You're an idiot. Get away from me. I think he's going to end up – it's funny because when when you know, uh, when know Carol comes back and all this kind of stuff with, with Henry and she gives out – you know, I, I like the fact that she feels like she can now – like love again and she can actually care for people. So it gives yeah, her – it, it kind of gave her a glimmer of hope because from this point on it was like um, – Carol always believed that there could ever be a safe time. There can, there's always going to be a threat, and it's kind of cool to. I, I'm optimistic about Carol's character in the future. I'm not optimistic about Henry's life in this world because I still think that he's going to die somehow, and that's what's going to put Morgan over the edge, and that's going to make Morgan leave. Maybe you know what the problem is. You know? I, I wish. I mean, yes, not that much time has passed, but you know what would be fun? You know what would be cool? I'm, I'm, I'm big into generational stuff, meaning mm -hmm. some guy has a son, and right. that guy is like a main guy of a, you know, in, in an army, and he's, you know, in this, in whatever. And But his yeah. son, then we, we get to see his son grow and become that man also. And then he has a son. Like, I'm really into that generational stuff. Like, that stuff is really cool to me. If they were able to do something with this, and, 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 and it's like... 10 15 20 years and it's like oh my you know my grandfather rick grimes you know what i mean like you know what i'm saying like 
Like, well, that could have been this Carl's was, thing. This that is, you know, been... like it's it's the whole Star Wars situation. Like, oh yeah. yeah, Darth Vader was this bad guy, but Anakin Skywalker was a great Jedi. Like, you don't know any of that stuff, and you're like, you hear about these Jedi, and you're like, that's insane, <laughs> you know? Like, and now we're yeah. here, and what's this? What's gonna happen with him? But we're not, we're not. It isn't that. And anyway, I just, I, I like that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Look, we did get a little uh, going back. I, let's go back to Negan real quick. We did get a little of his backstory. I thought that was odd, but also a little pleasant how they threw it in there. But like you threw it in one of the dumbest like situations you possibly could. But it's, it's showing. Listen, um, without spoiling spoiling anything, um, if you read the comics, you kind of know where things can head. I think the show is going to go that way. It's giving Negan more of a hum like a human. Um, showing a softer side. He's also or human also cider. also besides that, not to it's cut just, you off, but it's to a add setup. To that, yeah, it's a setup. He's also most of his like yeah. he hasn't had a good run lately, and I like that. I like that Rick almost beat his ass. She got then he got captured. He yeah. he got he, when he was with um uh, uh um Gabriel. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah. I like how he's he's essentially been on the run this most of the season. I like that. So. It's a buildup. Like I said, it's a buildup. Yeah, to I don't know. What Look, this is, is them, dude. They're, 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 it's, 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 you know, peaks and valleys, dude. They're, they're just, for me, it's in and out. Let's, let's real quick. I, I want to talk about the Rick and, and, and Morgan scene. Let's just end <laughs> off over there because that was, that was, that was some good stuff. I don't mind people gonna if they're gonna get taken and then it's gonna be a cool scene afterwards. Like, cause you're like, yeah. how are these two badasses gonna get out of this? You know what I mean? And then it's good to like, see them finally meet up and like fight together. That and... was cool. And like that, that reveal of he's like, yeah, go, go, go. And as he goes, he, he hatchets the guy's neck and he's like, oh, like that right. was great, man. I was like, oh, dang. Like, that's what I want. Surprising. It was Give surprising us more of that. To see but you say that. he's like, I lied. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. that's great. And I don't like that. I like I liked the action of this. Right. And I've liked a lot of the action that we've gotten so far in this B side, even, even from the first half of season eight, but I, I don't like to see Rick so unhinged and so um, just so cutthroat. You know what I mean? That's why I know that a lot of people, you know, including myself didn't like the fact that we're not getting that, that Rick and he's not following what Carl wants him to be. So not that's why yet. they, well, not no, yet. but that's why they quickly, listen, we all hate the saviors that, that, that were, um, that, that escaped, ran off. Right, yeah. So of course the show wants us to kill them off. But like, yes, finally we got the long haired guy, Jared, which had a cool death. We can talk about that in a second, but it's, they cut that weird, that weirdo crazed Rick quick. As soon as he looked in that mirror at the end and he saw his reflection, he's done that a couple times. He did that when he killed baby Gracie's dad, he looked, mm -hmm in the mirror um, at the sanctuary at that compound. But yeah. oh. it's, it's so quick that they killed him off. They showed a crazed Rick. And now I think uh, by the end of the episode, we kind of got a glimpse of Rick's going to start realizing what, what Carl had yeah. said. I'm fine him. with all that, man. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with yeah, how I'm they did it because, it, because it's just... something, because it's something, dude, it's yeah. something, you know, the previous battle in the previous episode was pretty cool. They're doing yeah. something, you know, but then, mm -hmm. You know, then we, you know, we get these little whatever talks. Yeah, uh, Jared's death, that was pretty cool. I mean, it was I, cool. I mean, the character, cool. yeah, he was a dick and, and he had a, a couple of funny lines in a, in a couple of the episodes last season and, oh well, no, um, last season, beginning of this season, I should say. Mm. And um, whatever, man, it's, you know, he deserved to die. He was, he was, he was one of the biggest douchebags, one of the bigger douchebags. He was. Whatever, man, it was good, you know, um. So you said so you so you think Rick and Michonne are good? You th you think? Um... Well, I mean, if you watched our other uh, our our vid vid about Michonne and and Rick splitting, um, could it still happen? Yeah, I mean, but we did see them actually communicate a bit and tell each other that they loved each other and and they. Uh, it could know. still be a thing, but do you think it'll break Rick, or you think he's going to come back? Is he gonna stay broken um, you know what? A little I think, longer, or... like, like I was explaining with um, Rick taking out and lying to the to those saviors about you know we, you can come back with us and this kind of stuff. Mm. I think that um, they did they did a quick a quick flip flop of his character, so I think he can definitely come back. I think they're gonna make it automatic. Yeah. Um, 
don't get me wrong. I think there's going to be a big, you know, Rick has no problem killing these saviors who eventually will attack again. And, yeah. but I can see, um, I think they showed it right away. I think they just yeah. showed the compassion. I think they showed it when Rick was touching Michonne's face and, and this and that. So I don't think we're going to see that, that crazy. I lied. Rick. Yeah. Let me ask you, know you this I mean? two episodes left. Yes. Do you have high expectations for the, for the end of the season? I mean, I hope so. These should be the two best episodes um, that you, we're going to see. Because I'll tell you, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, and and I'm not, I'm not optimistic. Uh, yeah. Last season's finale was really good. That was really good. I enjoyed that. That last episode was really good. I really liked it. You yeah. know, it was, it was tension filled. It was, uh, you know, but then this season we just got more of that, like, like, like crappier versions of those little conflicts, and it was like. I don't know. This whole season is, has kind of been a disappointment to me. And I, you know, I want it to end strong. I want it to end, though. I'm This all-out war needs to be done now. You know, like, it's I been... I, I it's, mean, I, it's done. I agree. I can't... Agree. I personally can't do another season, even another half a season of Negan, Cat and Mouse with Rick. I can't... I don't, I don't want to. I don't want yeah, to. I don't, I don't think. I think the show is smart enough to know that. And do I you though? Know? Because they make I, a lot of. Well, dumb how much decisions. more? What, are, what else are they gonna do? Like we. Mikey, see I don't know who thought they were gonna do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. I, I listen, know, I can see your point, and I can see where you can be frustrated. I think that will we get the the final to all out war next episode? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be the final episode. Um, uh, of this season. Yeah. My, my biggest thing is will, you know, Rick be hitting the final blow or the final strike against Negan. And then it goes black or something. And then we don't know what the fuck happened. Like the Glenn and Abraham, like the lineup yeah, stuff. Yeah, or, yeah. You know what I mean? I want it to be, and I agree what, what you say. I want it to be final. Um, I, I'll try to be as optimistic as possible with these next two, yeah. but I can see, um, a, next episode being a lot of buildup of now Negan is back. We still don't know who Negan picked up. I mean, there's a couple ideas. Oh, so could it be? Could it be Laura? You know, obviously Laura's the one that saw um, uh, Dwight turn on anybody and yeah. shoot his own men. Uh, we haven't heard from her. Um, could it be Gregory? Gregory wasn't with the rest of the saviors that right. that Negan and Morgan found. Um, so so let's see. I mean. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch and remember the end of the episode it was close to the end the only spot we saw Rosita and Daryl really were when they were staking out Eugene right outpost. they want to kill Eugene so, so I think that's gonna be a big wait, wait. I don't think they're gonna kill Eugene I think that they want to take out well uh, no they said it she said it she 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 well, was she like said, we don't take out the um, we got to take out the people. So I mean, obviously he's one of the one of the people. I there, thought so. I thought I took it. I thought she said like if they take out him, then they, then that won't happen. They won't be able to make bullets. We have to take out the people or something, not uh, something know. like that. Regardless, anyway, so whatever. that stuff kind of looks interesting. That's, yeah. That stuff kind of looks interesting, but we'll I, see. I'm a, I hate it. I hate it. I love the show, and I just I'm just not happy. I I, I yeah. said it a hundred times, and we're gonna end on this. But I, I there's so many more. But there's so there's so many more. I can't say I can't even say correctly. There are there are better shows on TV right now than well, this for me, and it's just it's upsetting. So, I agree. I don't know if we'll ever get back to those classics. No, they just got to do better. They got to do better. Four or five seasons or whatever it was, you know that so, we, that we got from this show. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So sorry about the bitch fest. Um, I, I <laughs> try. You know, it's look, been we try. I mean, I'd like to say we try to be objective, but this is you know you you know. You, you hear you you seeing two people who have been watching this show for years, reading the comics. Like we're into it, and it's it's disappointing, you it know. Is. To 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 to, I'm not. I don't want it to be the comic, but I don't want it to be what it is now. Like it's. Not, I'm not just upset yeah. with the direction they're heading. I'm upset with the dumb decisions these characters make and the situations they create for themselves. It's they're not smart. The, what I mean to say is the writing is not smart. The situations are not interesting. They're just plain and boring. And you're you're eight years into a show, a post-apocalyptic show, where there are you know dozens of other. Po you need to step yeah. up. You need you can't just 
you know, wing it because you're the walking dead. You know, you you uh, got you got to stay above the rest. That's not, not surprising. Happening. You're not surprising anybody by what you're saying. And like I like I have said, um, it's we try to definitely put out the pros and the cons of all these episodes. It seems like for me that we've been consistently uh, been been negative about a lot of the episodes or we go into, listen, we're setting up before the episode, before we record and we're talking about all these good things. And it just always seems like just, you just really think because about all it the that good things. Time. Yeah. Get, get pulled down. Yeah. By, so by all of the dumb decisions that are surrounding them. You know? It's rough. Anyway. But without without killing it anymore. Yeah, sorry. You guys let us know what you think. Um, let us know if you agree with our rant videos. Uh, it seems that we are putting Still out every week. Still gotta but, mean something. That's right. Check us out at Third Person Pod, of course, on YouTube. And write those comments below. We've been getting a lot of them. Um, we really enjoy the love that we've been getting with a lot of these other theory kind of videos that we've been putting out also. So check us out at third person pod on YouTube, uh, on YouTube. I said that already on Instagram on and on, and on Facebook and check us out on uh, third person pod, of course, on iTunes as well. That's it. Thank you very much guys. Once again, sorry for the rant, but you know, <laughs> here's looking, here, here's looking to, to, to the last two episodes being, it happens. being good, you know, uh, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.